The way the color wheel works, the way we've always learned about the color wheel are the primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. They're connected by this triangle. When you look at these paints, they would be these three colors. This is what we've always learned about the color wheel. But believe it or not, printers go off of three other versions of red, yellow, and blue. Instead of blue, it's more of this shade, cyan or teal. And still yellow, but instead of this shade of red, it's magenta. So if I choose different hues of red and blue, it can create different hues of my secondary colors, orange and purple, the colors that a printer would use. And printers create all the colors, as you know. In elementary school, we're taught these three colors. So I can show you the difference between the two. Let's say I wanted to make a purple. These are the two traditional colors that we would use. Um, when I'm using this palette, I want to use only a small amount at a time, so no more than the, a dime size of each paint color. I can always mix more, but this way I'm not wasting it. Um, and I also want to mix, just to show you, I'm mixing equal amounts. So one part red, one part blue, equal parts. And I'm going to do it down here with the CN or the teal. One part CN, one part magenta. I'm, I'm not even squeezing these bottles. I'm basically just tilting them upside down and all the paint's coming out. Because I'm mixing equal parts, my experiment will be the same. Equal parts red and blue, equal parts magenta and cyan. So this is the one we're used to seeing when we mix color. I want to make a purple. You can see this is making a deep shade of purple. It's so deep and dark because the blue is so, so dark. And I'm going to rinse out my brush. Um, that's why I always have a paper towel with me so I can rinse out my brush, swirl, swipe, blot it on the paper towel. And now I'm going to mix my equal parts of magenta and cyan, and you can see it creates a different shade of purple. This purple is actually a little more of the hue that we're used to seeing when we think of the rainbow, and this one's more of a deeper burgundy. So when it comes to the true hue of a color, the cyan and the magenta seems to work a little better than the red and the blue. So they're just two different hues of red and blue. I'm using a slightly pinker version of the red, and I'm using a slightly greener version of the blue, but they do the same thing. Paint swatches like these you find at hardware stores, and they're basically a hue, which is a variety of color, and three tints of that hue. A tint is a lighter version of a color by adding white. Your goal is to do two lighter versions. If you wanna go crazy and do a third one, go for it. Because I'm only doing uh, one hue and two tints of it, I just need to fold it into three, so I fold it like an accordion. When I create my hue, I wanna write notes about how I mix them. So I did equal parts of CN and magenta here. I'm gonna go with this shade and I'm gonna make tints of that for my color swatch. So using a pencil, I wanna write my formula on my top strip where I put my original hue. So I know I used one part magenta, one part, I'm gonna call it teal because that's the word we're used to using for that color. And now I'm going to paint my original hue on there. What a lot of young artists do is they just mix white right into this pile, but then I'm gonna have to remix this all over again. So the way that artists actually use their palette is they use all the other space around here. My goal is to make it just slightly lighter and then slightly lighter than that. Not a big drastic change right away. You can see it creates this ombre effect going from dark to light, just one or two steps lighter each time. I'm going to make it slightly lighter. So I'm gonna put just a little tiny speck of white there. That's actually more than I wanted. And so I'll make this pile bigger. They need to be visibly different from each other. Right now, this one is not much different from that. So I'm going to just pick some of this up here, make it less. There. So that one's obviously more than that one. Now, what a lot of artists do is they just take the white and they mix it all up with this pile. That's wasting all of this paint. And it's not allowing me to have my original hue anymore. So to keep my original hue, I need to pick up some of the paint and then mix it in. Now I have a slightly lighter version. And then for my lighter version, I'm gonna pick up the original hue again and mix it in where the bigger pile of white is. So you can see I have the original hue. It gets slightly lighter each time. 